Ben Horner for Norwich Boxing here with Graham Everett. How are you feeling? Yeah, really good, thank you. Yeah, everything's good. Um, September, uh, return of boxing in Norwich. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how are all the lads looking in the gym? And yeah, well, you've just seen Sam have his uh, his midday workout. He's he's looking good. He's uh, you know he's pleased to be back. Um, unfinished business with him, really. You know, he's he's, he's a stone throw away from a from a, a good title fight, a big a big fight, I'm sure. So um, this is the next move on. And you know, I I met somebody on holiday who thought Sam was about forty, but right. I had to explain. <laughs> he seems to have been around a long time. Yeah. And he's you know he's, he's 31 years age, which um, he should now be uh, hitting his physical prime. At, at, you know, for that age. Um. Craig Poxton was back over uh, the weekend. Yeah, Craig. I, um, to be honest, I thought Craig looked really sharp. He's he sparred with, uh, with Z, and um, he looked fresh. He's his whole everything about him. He had a bounce about him. He looked really pleased to be back. You know, Matt's Matt's doing a grand job with him over at Lowestoft, and um, I'll be honest, he, he, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing Craig fight. I think I think he learned a lot in that last fight with George uh, George Jupp. Whether he won, whether he lost, that's now history. Yeah. Um, but you know, he's, he, he he did learn a lot from that fight, and he and uh, I think from that he re he will realise that he is a, he's a championship fighter. You know. Um, you mentioned Z Zathan, he's yeah. back out again. Yeah, Zathan, um Listen, that kid is improving so so much. You know, I'll take I'll take me out off to him and John and Glenn, who persuaded me for him to turn professional. Which I'd never thought he'd do. Um, he's done an absolutely great job. Or oh, them boys have done a great job with him. I like having my input when I can. But he's, he works so hard, day and night, selling tickets, whatever else he does. He, he's a hundred percent, and um, you got you've got to hand it to. Um, also, another return to Norwich is Billy. Unfortunately, last time out, come away with a loss. Yeah. Um, can you give us your sort of insight on what happened there, or? I, th I think Billy said everything, you know, what the problem was. He knows what it was. Uh, you know, let's, let's move on from that one now. That's ready for him to get back in. There's a lot of good work to get him in 10-0, and 0 with, obviously with Mervyn yeah. Turner. And, you know, it's, it, it's hard to get kids unbeaten records. Um, cause, uh, but any, anyway, they have to fight. You know, it's as simple as that. They have to be good fighters. You don't go a 10-0 and, 10 and 0 record unless you can fight. And... I think sometimes you have to take a little step back to learn, and he probably learned a lot yeah. out of everything with that fight. I've given to John since. Uh, John's been doing a lot of um, physical and mental work with him away from the gym, still coming to do his stuff, but um, you know, just maybe trying to toughen his mentality up a little bit, which uh, John's doing. John's doing a grand job with that. So. Um, Hopefully we'll see the see the proper Billy Bird back this time. Like you say, sometimes you go away and get that, yeah. lot, and you learn more from that than what you would have done ever before. So yeah, yeah, that's, Billy that's a fact. It, it's a hard. Sure. It was a hard pill for us to swallow on the night for his family, for for you know, for for myself and John, we were, Mervyn, we were devastated, you know. But like I say, when you've all had a night's sleep and you think about it, and you know, it's part of the process. You, yeah, you know, a lot can be a lot can be learned in a, in a defeat. Um, fighting from sort of outside of Norwich, Joe Hearn. We're seeing yeah. him now, three knockouts. Um, yeah. uh, do we see this, this fight going the same way? Or? Well, the thing is, is that one of the most difficult things is actually getting people to fight Joe because he's now starting to give his, get himself a reputation. Okay, you know, I can't compliment Russell Smith enough for, do, for what he's doing down at the Colchester gym with him. Um, but. You know, he comes up here, does a fair bit of sparring up here and stuff. He sparred with the likes of Anthony Gogo and uh, Martin Welsh on Sunday. He's been in some cracking good fighters. Um, learning his trade, he's 110% a boxer. The only thing what matters to him is boxing. Uh, so, you know, he's reaping his rewards and he will definitely, definitely be in the championship mix shortly. He's one of them who's going to be fast-tracked. We can't really hold him back, you know. We, I'd love him to do a six or eight rounder and, get, and, and win it on points and, and, and maybe have a few obstacles in the way. But he's, he's just, you know, he is what, yeah. you know. What's this space with him? Yeah, uh, he it's... excites me. I, 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 like him, I like him a lot. He's a good, uh, respectful man as well, you know. So it's, it's, he fits in great with our, with our situations here. Um, 
first time back at the hall since Nathan Dale won the youth mm -hmm. title. Um, have you got any more of an update on him? Uh, where yeah, we stand? to be fair, Nathan's on the mend, but he is struggling. He's struggling. It, it's, it's very disappointing for him because all he wants to do is train. He's got an injury which is obviously stopping him doing anything he wants, but you mark my words, he will come back. You know, as long as that hand holds up and it's 99 percent sure it will do because he, he got dealt you know with by the best Mike Hay Hayton is he does everybody's hands um, his success rate is is very very high so we're just gonna we're gonna stay positive and hope that happens Nathan Dale went to 17 to no with a bad hand he was a top amateur with a bad hand you know it was never it, it got um, wrongly diagnosed to be honest where, as soon as as soon as um, he went to see Mike, Mike knew what it was straight away. But he had all sorts of um, different, ex you know, different reasons why his hand was playing up. Um, one of them was arthritis. Uh, that's right. what one of the, you know. Yeah. But the thing is, you have to see the proper man. He's seen the man. He's got the job done. Uh, but when he comes back, he'll come back. We had Jamie Cox here recently to spar, and he had exactly the same operation done. And he said to us. Uh, he said to Nathan, because he was speaking to Nathan before he had the operation, and he actually said, it feels like I've got a horn on the end of my hand. And that, right. that gives somebody who has a bad hand a lot, a, you know, a lot of confidence. You know, so, I, used to, I used to have a go at Nathan sometimes for not working that jab enough, etc., etc. But that's probably the reason why. And yeah. he's a tough little character. He wouldn't tell me. Uh, he wouldn't say, he wouldn't tell me the extent of his injury. You know, but... Um, he, he comes back with a good hand, then we let him loose. You know, a couple of warm-up fights, then he's got to be in that mix. Um, also in the gym, you, you have the likes of the Walshers training down here. Yeah. Um, Liam Walsh has got now got a date. Yeah, we've got, we got, we got a date. They're, they're saying the world title eliminator, so uh, we'll see what comes out in the Walsh. They, you know, they're, they're busy in Tenerife at the moment, so back shortly and uh, really looking forward to having, having my little buddies back <laughs> with me, you know. Also Ryan, uh, finally, yeah. long awaited yeah. wait on the date, but it's, it's here now, it's, it's yeah. set. Yeah, Ryan Ryan is uh, is a, quite one of the group, sometimes goes along, gets unnoticed, you know, but I'll be honest with you, um, that kid can fight, you know, you give Lee Selby a, yeah. he, he, I, I spoke to them too, or I, uh, they, they told me once that they heard me saying to somebody when they were training in the gym when they first turned pro, and uh, there was an ex-world champion I was talking to, and I said, see these two, if they aren't at least British champions, that would be a real shame, you know? So. And they always remembered that, they didn't tell me till recently, they overheard me say it, uh, and um, I think they'll definitely want to prove to me they can do it, prove to themselves, and move on from there, even yeah. to, to higher, you know, to higher. So for anyone who's watching outside of Norwich, um, mm. Norwich boxing is booming. Yeah. yeah. They need yeah. to sort of take note now that yeah. the product is there and it's just it's yeah, definitely. being let out. You know, there's, there'll be two or three new signings before the end of the year. Um, you know, working with John closely, it's Glenn and uh, a new member of the team is, uh, is Darren and uh, Darren Bunn that is, who's been behind the scenes for a long time, uh, picking up knowledge, he's here every weekend watching the sparring, you know, learning his trade, so he's uh, a welcome acquisition to the team. Um, so, yeah, yeah well, moving, moving forward, it's, it's the exciting, exciting times, yes. Yeah. Friday the 18th of September, the yeah. halls, Norwich. It's the tickets place to be. Yeah, tickets available yeah. from yourself. We've got a seven fight show, um, Mervyn's got two new signings of his, another heavyweight and a welterweight and uh, we've got our five lads on as well so it's going to be a cracking night, Friday night, there's nothing to do is there, no football, No. so um, let's get down there and enjoy yourselves. Well thanks for your time and I'll no uh, worries. catch Pleasure up event. with you on the night. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much.